got a little comparison here between the, the Ibex Fly Touch 10 and the Anal Novo 9 Spark. And we've run Nina Mark 2 Benchmark. And as you can see on the Spark, we're pulling in. Just wait for it to focus in there. About 23.3 FPS there in the, in the results bar for Nina Mark 2.4. But now above it here, we've got the, the Ibex Fly Touch 10. As you can see, the results are a lot better. Pulling in 58.8 FPS on this test. I mean, obviously, it's just a graphical test, but um, it does show that the, the Fly Touch 10 really has stomped pretty much all the other tablets. We've got other tablets like the Samsung Galaxy Tab, ACC Pad Transformer Prime, S2. Yeah, let's have a look at the a comparison of the N22 marks also. Right, I've loaded up the the N22 benchmark this time on the on the Spark, and as you can see the results we got just now is 9,429 overall score. And now above it here, we've got the, the Fly Touch 10. You can see the overall score is much higher. It's much, much higher. Now we're at the Ibex Fly Touch 10. And now with the, this Anal Nova Spark, it's, uh, it's a preview model. So of course there's a possibility that uh, firmware might not be as perfect, but uh, I think we're seeing significantly higher results on the Ibex Fly Touch 10 here, and both units are not running, uh, you know, any excessive bloatware. You know, they're both on stock firmwares that have uh, that have shipped with both tablets, and the only things we've installed there are, are both the benchmarks and uh, and a game on the Fly Touch 10, a game off game. So they're they're pretty clean machines, and uh, and there we have it. The Fly Touch 10. Now the, the Fly Touch 9 got a score on Antutu benchmark in the region of around 9000. So as you can see the Fly Touch 10 is a, a significant improvement over the Fly Touch 9 as well. Okay and there we have it. Pop over to uh, apad.tv and uh, check out the comparison blog between the, the Spark and the Fly Touch 10. Okay thanks for watching. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.